Hello, everyone. Today, I'm going to be walking through a commonly asked question about the Kanban board. If you have already purchased this template, thank you so much for your order. And if you've stumbled across this video, I'm going to include a link to the template in the comments below. Feel free to purchase it and follow along as well. Um, so the commonly asked question that I've been getting a lot is how to edit the task category in your Kanban board. It's a little bit different in both Google Sheets and Excel. So the first example I'm going to be walking through is in Google Sheets, and then I'm going to be opening up Excel and walking through there as well. So in Google Sheets, in order to edit the task categories, come down here to where it says E4, and then where this little arrow is, uh, go ahead and click that to show the drop down menu. Click the pencil icon to edit, and then that's going to open up the list right here for you. You can either type over the task categories that are currently in here, or you can add more to the list by clicking that add another item. You can type in your item, and then when you've finished making all of your changes, go ahead and click the done button right here. This screen is going to pop up, and you're going to want to select apply to all. That's going to apply to the entire column E. So click apply to all, and then in your drop down, you're going to see that they are automatically there for you as well. So then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to need to make the exact same change on the second tab at the bottom, Kanban board task category. So go ahead and click on that. And then you are going to come right here to where the task category is. Click on the drop down, click on the edit button, and then make the exact same change here as well and click done. So that's how easy it is uh, to customize it in, um, in Google Sheets. Now I'm going to be walking through Excel for you as well. So in Excel, you are going to navigate to E4 as well. And with your mouse, you are going to just kind of highlight and drag E4 all the way down to the bottom of this sheet. The bottom of the sheet ends at 996 <laughs> in the table. So then just release your mouse once you get down there. Come to the top menu here and click on data and then click on data validation. That is going to bring up this screen right here for you. And where it says source, you are going to see the task categories currently listed right here. If you would like to add another task category, you are going to come in after a comma, or you can even go to the end. You can go to the end of the list as well, but you would come in after a comma and you would type in, you would type in your item and then you would add in a comma right after it. You're, you're going to notice that you don't have any spaces before or after commas. That's really important for this to work correctly. So once you make all of your customizations and you can feel free to add or edit as many as you would like, you are going to click OK. That's going to automatically update all of the drop down menus in this entire column to include your new item. Um, and then you are going to make the exact same change on Kanban board task category. So you're going to click on um, the, can, the, the task category right here on this sheet. Click on data validation. Click yes. And then you are going to make the exact same change right here. And then you would click OK. And then you'll see in this menu, it's going to have your item there listed as well. And again, feel free to edit um, and type over any of these other items here as well. So that walks through how to make the change in both Google Sheets and Excel. Um, again, thank you so much for your order. And I hope this video was helpful. And I'll see you in the next one.